What's up, fam? It's your boy, Heaven Hollywood, back on IE Network. This is a special Heaven Hollywood report, and let's get to it. Now, we want to premise this on saying that this story is alleged. Okay? It is alleged. Now, I'm looking on uh, hot news, hot new hiphop.com. Usually, I'm going to say usually, this website is pretty on point. All right? It says here that Chris Brown and his crew allegedly jumped Usher at a birthday party. Now, this birthday party is actually Chris Brown's birthday party. Okay? Chris Brown's birthday party. Now they're saying that the the um uh the beef uh was allegedly squashed. Now it says the alleged beatdown occurred after Usher tried to calm Chris Brown down after being disrespectful to Tiana Taylor. Now apparently Chris Brown this this is the article Chris Brown's 34th birthday bash ended with violence, at least according to various online sources. So they don't have a source themselves. Um, I, this initial, initially originated from Hollywood Unlocked. Now, a lot of times, Hollywood Unlocked is really hit and miss. They're considered a credible urban website, even though Jason Lee thinks he's bigger than urban. He's not. He's considered a credible uh, urban site sometimes, but that uh, saying that the queen was dead and and she wasn't kind of, you know, took a lot of credibility from them because he said my sources are never wrong, and then it turned out that the queen wasn't dead. <laughs> Apparently, Chris Brown thirty four bash ended with violence. These according to various online sources. Moreover, the R and B singer and his crew allegedly jumped Usher at the event, which is shocking considering their close relationship. Which this story is unconfirmed and still mostly the result of gossip and speculation. There's been no shortage of reports on it from all angles. Even though some people won't believe it until they see a video evidence. Now, all the videos you see so far is just of the party. It seemed like, you know, Chris, uh, us just singing happy birthday to Chris Brown. He threw the party. Now, we're saying, to elaborate, us just threw Chris Brown a skate party for his, for his big day which also included guests like Mario, Bow Wow, and many more. I saw Marion there. I saw Summer Walker there. And it's saying that he, towards the end, once he was quite drunk, he uh, apparently being disrespectful to Tiana Taylor. Now, you know, they have history. And if I find, once I find out uh, the just of everything, I just wanted to put this report out there because it's circulating but I want to let people know that it is not confirmed as of yet. And you know, if this happened last night, Usher and Chris Brown has already got together and tried to, and tried to say, hey, let's make sure this doesn't get out. You know, something like that. Uh, it says, to elaborate, Usher threw Chris Brown at a skate party. All right, so, so not only that, but he was apparently being disrespectful to Tiana Taylor, approaching her in an intoxicated manner. Then reports allege multiple people got involved in the argument, and it's unclear what disrespect he directed towards her. All right, and yes, I see this is from Hollywood Unlocked. They were the ones who put the initial um, statement out there. Said that the R&B star called Usher a coward. And left the venue because he intervened, I guess, telling Chris, don't talk to Tiana like that or what have you. And then he called Usher, allegedly a coward, left the venue. Then the confession singer reportedly walked outside to meet up with Chris to say, you know, what's going on? What have you? I'll just stew you this nice party player, and this is how you going to act? And Chris Brown, they said his entourage attacked Usher. He said, not only that, but apparently so bad that the singer got a bloody nose. So now I'm sure soon us is going to come out with the old showing his face. Bloody nose where? Bloody nose where? Come on now. You know me and Chris is my brother. So 
the truth may lie somewhere in the middle. There may have been an altercation, but maybe it wasn't with Chris Brown and Usher. I saw one person say Tiana Taylor wasn't even there, but there's no proof that Tiana Taylor wasn't there. We would have to follow Tiana Taylor's timeline or, or look on her Instagram or something. Now, again, we're just putting this out there because I do see the story circulating on more than one outlet. When it was just on Hollywood Unlocked, I was like, eh, I'm going to wait and see. But just in case, because uh, uh, I'm doing some checking on it now, I will come back with a confirmation or a denial. All right? So we're just putting this out there. If this is the case, well, we'll deal with that. If, the, <laughs> if this is the case, boy, my next video, you don't want to miss. So I'm just putting it out there because it is circulating online. Don't take it as truth yet. Because it has not been 100% confirmed. But what they're saying is Hollywood Unlocked was reporting Chris Brown's entourage jumped Usher after Chris was intoxicated and allegedly disrespected Tiana Taylor. We're going to find out some more on this. We'll bring you the news back if once we get some sort of confirmation. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. This has been the IE Network News.